I have this humongous poly mailer that I bought to use for coats and jackets. Simple sales for good profit. I have three videos for you on how to pack and ship tote bags and duffel bags. And I'm going to show you how to find the coupon for the free quarterly shipping supplies that we get from eBay, depending on your store level. So be sure to watch the entire video. This Burberry travel bag sold for $25 plus shipping. Mark is cutting a piece of cardboard for me. What did we come up with? 19 by 12 and a half. This will be the uh, support for the tote bag. Because this piece of cardboard has a fold in it, we're going to reinforce it with another little strip of cardboard. Now we're just cutting a strip that's about two inches wide. I'll show you here. To attach this, I'm just going to use some tape and tape it down. I've decided to tape it on the back side. This is going to be the bottom. I just don't want this to bend during shipping. We could have used thicker cardboard, but decided to use this scrap instead. This is the tote bag. That's why we measured it and cut it the size we did. Now I'm just gonna take some bubble wrap and put around this. Got two pieces of large half inch bubble wrap, another two, two sheets. I don't really need bubble wrap on the back. I need it on the front. But let's get these two pieces connected. A long piece of tape and flip this over. I guess these are still separated here a little bit. Pulling it tight now. Again, pulling the bubble wrap tight. Then I just need to deal with the ends. Just trying to tuck it in. Pull it up and tape it. Oops, I didn't leave as much on this end. Uh-oh. It kind of got pushed, as you can see, to the other end. I did not mean to do that. You know what? I need to put some bubble wrap here. I do not want this tape touching this tote. To remedy this, since I didn't get it evenly, I'll just add a piece of bubble wrap at the end because I do not want to tape the tote. That would not be good. Flip it over. Okay, it's protected. It's stabilized with the cardboard. Now I just need a poly mailer big enough to put it in. This is the huge poly mailer that I have. I bought some of these for coats and jackets. It's the only size I have that's going to work. And of course it's too big, but I'll adjust it. Let's see how this is going to work. I'm not sure. I'm going to push it all the way to the bottom. You know what I forgot? I almost forgot my thank you note. Put that in there. All right, let's continue. Pushing it to the bottom corner. This has a, I don't know what you would call this at the bottom, a gusset maybe? Is that what you call it, Mark? A gusset. You guess it. I have a lot of excess here. I need to cut this off. It probably would have been easier if I'd cut it without it being in there. You know what? I might just do that. I can wrap this around. All right, I'm gonna take it back out. I have a little notch here. I know where I need to cut. I'm gonna take it back out. It's a lot easier to cut it if it's flat, and I'm just gonna eye it. And this will be used. You know, it could be wrapped around something else someday. Hopefully I cut it correctly. I'm trying to get it to go in one corner, but that, that gusset or whatever at the bottom is really messing with it. Maybe I should just turn it this way, see what I'm dealing with here. It's not really doing me any favors. I decided to go ahead and tape this uh, bottom or gusset closed because I really don't need it. I measured it flat without it. Let's try this again. You were afraid of that, weren't you, Mark? I wasn't gonna have enough to wrap over it. Mm -hmm. It's close. Should have more. This is time for my tape dispenser. I have to put a note on here to not use scissors when opening. I have extra here. I 
I have to make sure everything's taped down so there's no loose edges or pieces or places that can get caught in machinery. All right, I'm going to run a long piece of tape here. And then I'm going to tape this down better. As I said, I'm going to add a note to not use scissors. I do that sometimes when the object inside or the item inside is close to the edge. Okay, it's supported on the bottom. You know, come to think of it, I probably should have taped this to the cardboard side, but that's okay. We can put the label on either side. Here's another tote bag. Let's go find it in the garage. And as you can see, I've just used a little bit of stretch wrap to flatten it for storage. It takes up a lot less room this way. It's sold on eBay for $29.95 plus shipping. But this is a vintage 20 inch Diane von Furstenberg overnight bag. It's a zippered bag. And as you can see, I've already wrapped it with some cardboard to fit the dimensions of the tote, as well as some small bubble wrap. Let's say that you don't have one of those gigantic poly mailers. Well, I used some eBay poly mailers and I used two of them. I cut the first one open and laid it flat. Then I took a second one and did the same thing. I cut it completely open down one side and across the bottom and laid it open. Laying the toad on top of the poly mailer, I just used some masking tape to tape it around the tote. This will be the inside so the masking tape worked just fine. And by the way, you can find all of my packing materials and links below the description of, of all my videos. I turned it upside down. I did take advantage of, of pulling the foil tab so that I could stick that on itself rather than using tape. But I'm going to show you here how I use the second poly mailer, the flattened poly mailer, to finish wrapping this like I would a present. Well, it's not a very pretty present, but it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be wrapped and sealed to get it in the mail. And I'm going to fast forward through this, so be prepared. We're going to go at 400% speed. I use two types of tape in my packing, the masking tape for the inside package and Scotch Heavy Duty packing and shipping tape on the outside. And I have two of these heavy duty dispensers that I use. And again, you can find links for these in the description below the video. Let's speed this up again. It's really important to make sure everything is taped down securely and that there are no loose ends or corners that could get caught in any machinery, in any sorting machinery along the way. I have one more for you here, and then at the end I'm going to show you how to order your free shipping supplies from eBay. I'm going to show you where to find the coupon, and we're going to see if they still have these large envelopes, so keep watching. This Nike Kevin Durant Hoops Elite Max Air Basketball Gym Bag sold for $50 plus shipping. As you can see for storage, we put a few pieces of stretch wrap on here, but now to ship it, we're going to stabilize it with a piece of cardboard that fits pretty tight to it, you know, not extending very much, really just cut to fit. It's probably going to be oversized anyway. I think that's how we estimated it. Now we're going to stretch wrap this to the cardboard, add a layer of bubble wrap, and then a large poly mailer. Have a roll of stretch wrap, and we're going to start at this end and work our way down. Mark is going to help me here. Bear with us. We're trying to fit this into the camera view. I'm pressing down on it. Go ahead and move your hand. Once we get started, this wrap will not only protect it from the weather, It'll give it a little protection in shipping. Plus I'm going to add a layer of bubble wrap. I'm just going to wrap this a few times so it will fold over itself. And I know this is stretch wrap, but I just have this thing about pulling that last part off, so I cut it. And I didn't get this on very good as far as covering the ends, so I'm going to come back to this. Mm, can I hold it up? Um, I might be able to get it. Oh, you could. Side. Go ahead. Thank you. You can only press it so much. You don't want to break down the integrity of the item that you're wrapping. This is a basketball gym bag. Right, right. All right, I think this is good. Watch your hand. <laughs> now we'll just fold this up. I love stretch wrap, and if I can find a link for this, I'll put it in the description below the video. Bubble wrap? No bubble wrap. 
One layer small is better than nothing in case it gets poked through the poly mailer. So I think I'm going to put some small bubble wrap on here. This is when I wish I had 24 inch wide, but I don't. I'm not sure how much I'll need. I'm going to start with some lengthwise. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, you know, it doesn't quite make it. It's not too bad, but I've got more. Can you lift that up, please, Mark? With or without the bubble? Without the bubble. I'm going to lay this across here. Okay, now right there. Doesn't get the corners completely. Should be okay. Yeah, I think it will be. Because we've got the cardboard on the corners, so I'm right, just going to fold this in. I'm not taping it. Let's put a thank you label right here. Pulling it tight. Going to use masking tape. All right, now you probably wonder what poly mailer is possibly going to cover this. Well, I have a jumbo poly mailer, so that's what we'll put this into. We might have to even cut it down, it's so big. But there you go, that's how to stabilize a tote bag. This is what I plan to do with all the tote bags that we have listed stabilize it with some cardboard, stretch wrap it, and some bubble wrap. So we found our large poly mailer. We just wrapped it around until we could just pull and stick this part. I added extra tape on each end. I will put an extra label on the outside that says do not use scissors to open. And as promised, keep watching here and I'm going to show you how to find the eBay coupon if you have a store level that has a coupon, a quarterly coupon. Let's go see if eBay has any more of these bags. Go to my eBay and go to selling. That takes you to your eBay seller hub. Go to your selling tools and subscriptions. Under subscriber discounts, you'll find eBay shipping supplies. I have a premium store subscription, so I get a $50 coupon every quarter. Click on see details. And this is where you find your coupon code. I have mine blanked out for privacy, but you would just highlight that, right click and copy, and then paste it at checkout after you pick out your shipping supplies. But let's just jump over and start shopping. This is where you'll find an assortment of shipping supplies from poly mailers to boxes to labels and things like that. But I am looking specifically today for that large envelope. So let's take a look. Let's see if we can find that same poly mailer. I typically don't spend my allotment on tissue paper or labels. I go for the poly mailers and boxes. I'm going to click on see all. Make sure we're seeing all of our options. I think I found it here. Over to the right. Well, they have one with color, 14 and a half by 18 and a half. No padding on these. They're just the flat poly mailers. I think I'll go for the black logo. It's, well, it's slightly cheaper by a few pennies. I guess it doesn't really matter which one you go for. Cause look at that, 36.93, 36.84. Woohoo, right? Not a very big saving, so let's just click on this one here. It looks a little different than the one I have. I've had mine for quite a while. But this is where you can select how many you would like. I'll click 100. 36.93. That definitely uses up most of my $50 coupon. I don't need anything right now, but in case you didn't know how to find your coupon and order your shipping supplies, they will charge you sales tax, but it will be free shipping, i.e. <coughs> shipping included. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue and Mark and I will see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.